Welcome to the Athamoy Archipelago and our D and D campaign. Everyone, give us a love. Cool. Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> there we go. That's nice. A good Discord round of applause. Very nice. No. This no, campaign no, no. takes place. <laughs> 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 just keep going. Let him speak. More clapping. This campaign takes place on the Athamoy Archipelago, a series of floating islands scattered across a vast cloudscape of, of soaring skies and bottomless pits. No one knows for sure what lays all the way down there, but no one has come back up. These islands are suspended all across the land in these floating clumps that have make up different cities and nations. And uh, we find our three intrepid players on the small, well, actually, no, yeah, on the small Talon Island, just outside the major Crescent Island in the city of the, in the, the nation of the Grand Reef. The kingdom of the Grand Reef is where they are. And they are all enjoying a relaxing day in a tavern. Where else? <laughs> Welcome to our world. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give a little recap of what happened. Um, we lost the intro footage, <laughs> so we're gonna redo Die. our introductions, and we're picking up a little bit into the bar scene. We were already talking and stuff, but we're starting at yeah. the uh, when the, well, it starts at where we when we were holy shit English. We were talking to people at the bar about uh, what we do and stuff. So that's where we'll pick up, and then we'll do introductions right now. Brady, why don't you start us off? Uh, you want me to start? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> he was not afraid. Dude, I look like so like, tired right now, too, with the way I have like double lines when I smile. Yeah. So bad. It's so bad. Okay. You don't have to start. Funny. Want, so. No, I'll start. I don't care. All right. Kick us <laughs> off. I'm already talking, so why not? Um, all right. So I am Wayne Strom Feldevard. I am a male. I am a variant Asimir. And okay, let me let me find my background and shit about me. Uh <laughs> All right, I have gold eyes. I am six four, two hundred pounds, and I am age twenty seven, and I have long blonde hair. I'm basically like uh, you know if if Thor was a D and D character visually, but like better, <laughs> but better. Okay, I'm a devout member of the Order of the Gold Dragon, and because of that, I'm a, or due to that. No, fuck me. Hold on. I'm a devout member of the Order of the Gold Dragon and a distant relative to the Gold Dragon, Alutharis, which is why I am primarily in the Gold Dragon. I grew up as a defender of the Order, going out with other members to keep everyone protected. And one day I came back to find my younger sister was taken by the evil enemy to the Order, the Rot. And I now dedicate my life to protecting others, especially f the Order and especially from the Rot. Dwayne the Rot Johnson? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> not again. Not, not oh, wait. Wayne again. Brady. Yes. Thank you for introducing Thank your you. character. Give a little clap. I'll put a picture of him. All right. Would you like to or go next? Chris, go Chris, 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 I'm just going Chris. down. Chris is just like, fucking dying right now. You good, Chris? Oh no, he got wait. taken by the rot. No, we're back. We're back. We're back. All right, you all ready for this? All right. All right. Hi, I'm Vogler Burger the Eighth. I'm a barbarian. barbarian. I'm 21 years old and I'm six feet tall. I have blue eyes and semi blondish hair. I grew up in the wild regions near the East Coast. I lived in a hut with my family, my mom, dad, and older brother. We were farmers making vegetables for the town folk. But I never wanted to be a farmer. I've always wanted to be a dragon rider. I've always, when I was a kid, I always watched a dragon riders fly above my head. <laughs> And I said, no, I don't want to be a farmer. I want to do that. And that's basically my boring ass backstory. Oh, that's cool. cool. So let's give Chris a round of applause. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 I'm Zephyr Arison. I'm an Air Genasi. Um, I've sky blue eyes, blue skin, and like pastel blue hair. There'll be a picture up. Um, 19 years old. Five feet eight inches, 147 pounds. Um, I was formerly a member of the Unbreakable crew, with the Unbreakable himself, 
Captain Koafetu. Um, I was adopted by him to be like kind of a son, and I grew up as a pirate along with that crew. But recently, I left because I found out that they were actually the ones that killed my family. Who my family were members of the Merchants of Whispers. It was like an assassin guild that got destroyed by the Unbreakable crew. Um, I've been working for just for money since leaving the crew. I don't have a great relationship with them, and they feel like I owe it to rejoin them since they raised me. But I don't want to rejoin them. Very cool. Let's all give give you a clap. And that is the last time I'm going to use that sound effect. <laughs> Probably. Uh, for today's session, I'm going to be using uh, my my scary red dice because you're all gonna die. I'm kidding. <laughs> Inside, Get out of here. None of us actually know each other in the thing. We are for meeting for the first time. So if we <laughs> act dumb and you think that we're acting dumb because we don't know stuff about the people we're talking to, it's because we don't. Realistically, Sorry, I need a real tea real know quick. Each other. We're picking up a little bit into the bar scene. There are much of my life, let's just say, mm. due to some circumstances. Oh, I shan't pry any farther. Say, I do happen to be in need of a bit more muscle. Uh, to to uh, guard my shipment. I was wondering if I'd be willing to pay you if you'd accompany on my ship uh, to take this uh, shipment the rest of the way. For sure. Uh, sure. Uh, absolutely. I'm concerned the uh. Absolutely. Oh, that's wonderful! I can promise you all fifteen gold pieces each for the job. I like that. Damn. Uh, to be paid Money. Upon all I need you to do is uh, get aboard the airship, and we're going to ride it up uh, into the Alertos region and drop off our shipment at Lesser Alertos. Okay. It's a smaller okay. one. Let's do that. Let's head on our way. Uh, along then. Uh, and the bodyguard uh, follows along as well with his okay. spear falling. You head out into the streets. They're, uh, they're bright, colorful, a bit more in dust. Um, I don't know whether it's like a bit, like I don't know, not Victorian style, but kind of vaguely that. It's a very vertically built city, and there's lots of Aarakocra flying around through the skies, uh, as well as you can see a few of the automatons, a little like metal people, or they've little constructs that are vaguely human sized and shaped, um, walking around doing tasks. You walk through the cobblestone streets down to the docks, which are very impressive. It's this just big span open of uh, docks that lead out over the void where you can see the clouds swirling below. And these great big airships are uh, hovering in the air. You know, it's kind of like a dock area uh, with various ropes and cables that attach to a, a big rigid uh, balloon holding it up. And one in the corner has uh, green markings on it and a merchant's banner attached. He points at it and he says, that's mine! Alrighty, let's get going. Uh, I talk about I. I say it's a, it's a beautiful ship. Uh, are you familiar with the classifications? This is just a your typical trader's airship. Okay. Merchant ship. Uh, mm -hmm. we've not a, not really any weapons on board, but that's where you come in. You are the weapons. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just mentioned that I en I enjoy ships. I don't mention any more about like. Being a <laughs> former pirate, or anything, but I mentioned that I'm like familiar with ships. Oh, wonderful! I think you you do know how to steer them. Like you, you have enough knowledge to be able to pilot a ship, especially one of this size. It's just like a normal. It's like a medium sized ship. Yeah. Uh, he climbs aboard, and uh, the Eric, the uh, brown winged Eric Cockra walks up to along the length of the deck, climbs up, and uh, starts prepping the ship to for takeoff. There's a few other crew members, various people who are running about, uh, fixing some lashings and setting everything new up. So, uh, you all ready to take off? Yes. Yes, yep. yes Captain. Slowly, the airship begins to... You know what? I'm simply water break. <laughs> Interrupt my own sentence. You know what? <laughs> I want to sip a water. Yeah, let's all have a water break. Sip a propeller. Hey, hydrating. You mean a sip a propel sponsored by Propel? We are not. Sponsored. Sponsored. Yeah, sponsored. <laughs> don't buy Propel unless they pay us. Then, what do you then mean? Buy. You but don't. If, <laughs> if they pay us, then definitely, like, it's really good. 
But like until then, nah. Fuck for fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna drink, drink my. I never had propel. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. <laughs> Why are you gonna drink peanut butter? Yeah. Uh, Zephyr pulls a bottle of peanut butter out. Takes Looks it very skin. chunky, <laughs> brother. <laughs> They got the chunky style. <laughs> Your ship begins to pull out into open skies, as you see. It's it's this brownish, reddish uh, color, kind of like Jupiter. But a lot of the clouds are also a puffier white color. As they all swirl around, you begin to take off into the skies. You see the long cables of cable cars moving uh, across between different islands floating. There. What would you like to do, and where would you like to be on the ship? As we begin to head off, um, I'd actually like to go talk to one of the crewmates, to be honest. Sure. I'll go um, talk to the ones that we're doing with the, what was it, the latches, you said? They're like uh, attaching some, like tightening ropes and. Yeah, I'll go like talk them. to some of them. Do you think I could uh, explore the ship a little bit? Yeah, sure. You can head below deck. Is there anything you'd like to do, Brady? Uh, I was going to try or to talk to. Um... Zephyr. Me? Right. Mm -hmm. I'm exploring the ship a little bit. You're going to go down yeah, and explore I'll the ship. Yeah, go <laughs> I'll go stalk him a little bit. I'll explore with him. So oh. let's, uh, let's start with Chris then. Uh, there's a little, there's a gnome. He's got a pointy red hat. Uh, and he's, I'll talk uh, to the gnome. Yeah. You go over and he says, Hello there, you must be the gnome muscle we picked up to protect us on this voyage. I guess so. <laughs> he kind of, he kind of, uh, he's looking up at you like this because he's, he's like, I'm looking down. He's like three, he's like three foot seven. Oh, Jesus Christ! And he's like, God damn, you're certainly, you're certainly big enough. <laughs> I have to say, I feel I might be safer with you on board. Oh, stop. Anyway, uh, have you traveled a lot of parts around the map? I want to ask. Oh, them. here and there, I'm running shipments from different islands. I've... Have you ever? Oh, sorry. Oh me? Okay. Have you ever like? Is there any like certain islands that just seem a little suspicious to you at all? Yes. Never set oh. sail. <laughs> yes. Never... <laughs> Never set sail for the twins. Those the two northeastern islands, the twins, Set and Reese. They're dangerous. Don't go near them. I've heard oh, tales. Awful tales. Oh. I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me know that. No, oh, once I heard a story that a, a young man took his ship and rode out there. When he came back, he was 90 years old, even though he was only 19 when he left. Time travel? He was only <laughs> gone for a month. I'm 19. But it could also be untrue. I don't fucking know. Uh, what's your name, though? Oh, you didn't get your name. My name's Bibbles. Bibbles. <laughs> and I'm and I run the uh and I make sure that this ship stays in tip top shape. You track mud on it, I will be sad. So please. Nice don't. to meet you, Bibbles. I'm Vogler. <laughs> nice to meet you as is, well. Is it Vogler or Vogler sounds better. I mean it's your name. You can choose the pronunciation. <laughs> I guess Vogler. All right, Voggy boy. Oh, God. Please don't call me that. <laughs> Please don't call I me that. Be, I won't. He kind of looks a little afraid of you. Okay, I won't call you that, Vogler. Uh, yeah. Call me in if you need anything. Thanks. Bubbles? Bibbles? Bibbles! <laughs> Bibbles Scrum Jump! <laughs> My full name. Bibbles Scrum Jump. Nice to meet you. Thanks for letting me know about the twins. Want a drink? And he reaches into his coat and he pulls out a, a, little, a little bottle. I don't see why not. What is it? Cheers. I love drinking on the job. No, this is, um, cheers, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's called Cheers. You cheers, wanna... brother. And you, you share a little splurp. <laughs> you share a little slurp on the balcony. Uh, how much are you drinking? You gonna drink a lot or just have? I'll a just no, just half, just half, just half. Just a little sick. Don't wanna get drunk on the job. Good for you. Yeah. All right. Uh, you two. Uh, uh, Zephyr and Oh, Wernstrom. That's not your name. Uh, Wayne, Wainstrom, that's what it was. Wainstrom. Wainstrom and Zephyr. You head down into the bowels of the ship. 
to go look around and um give go ahead give me a give me an investigation check see what you find both of you if you're both looking all right nine <laughs> I do like the disco dance. Uh, twenty. Holy shit! I rolled Dirty twenty. Yeah, Matt twenty. Matt twenty. Man, you must be stalking. Matt twenty. Very hardly. He's a lead yeah. at this stuff. <laughs> You've been on airships before, so you know how these are like. You've traveled around quite a bit, uh, Wayne Strom. So you know the deal. And you decide where would you like to go? The engine room, the cargo hold. Uh, there's the, 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 the quarters where everyone's sleeping. Probably the cargo hold. Interesting go to see what, the they're, what they're carrying. You said you wanted to talk to Zephyr. What do you say? Uh, I was going to ask Zephyr. Um, he's pretty young to be out here doing stuff like this for 19. And, uh, I was wondering his, his little like backstory. Cause I haven't, I had just met him in the bar. We haven't talked too much and he's able to down that much alcohol. So I imagine <laughs> there's a little bit of a pass there. <laughs> Um, well, uh, and then I, can I, I, can I pull out like, like from my little like pack, like, like a little, little like mini, mini bottle, bottle that's like sealed off of like rum or something and start sipping it as I tell him. <laughs> um, I start <laughs> sipping it and I'm like, well, let's just say years ago, um, I fell in with, uh, interesting crowd of people and i recently got out and i'm happy to be out well i mean good for you i guess to be going through that at 19 <laughs> already but yeah i want and then as more. you do or don't nah not right now i won't bother you and as so once he's done talking i like i'm like drinking it and then i just like tilt it and finish the rest of it <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ Damn. I get a surprised look. <laughs> you know what? I think you drank enough. I'm not. I'm not going to make you roll for that. You're. You're tolerant. Yeah. Once, Once a pirate, always a pirate. <laughs> That's real, my man. <laughs> <laughs> so you make it to the cargo hold, uh, and you see that indeed this ship does contain a whole load of metal. Uh, this metal has been refined down into ingots. So there's just big, like, crates that all say iron or steel ingots on them. And if you are uh, open, you can see the big bars how of much, steel. Uh, how much would one of these run, like, one single ingot run? Yeah. One ingot? Um, probably, like, hang on, I actually got to look that up. Oof. Uh, give me, give me okay. one minute. So I think okay, make Dungeon an Master. Fucking bank. Or mm. make it... Iron price. What is it with you and goddamn gold, Brady? Jesus. These are, me yeah, these are like metal. These are metal. It's not even go gold. I'm just gonna go steal the ingots. Oh, Let me do it though, because no, I'm, I'm gonna. Not gonna... Do well, you're a pirate. Oh well, yeah, but I don't know. I that. got this. I, I got the, him do it. Yeah, I got the, the plus, plus nine sleight of hand <laughs> modifier. Plus nine. <laughs> yeah. You have plus nine. Have pl Look at this, Chris. The only thing I have nine, a high plus, I have on plus on nine to stealth and sleight of hand. I have plus nine to stealth and sleight of hand and a plus eight perception. Jesus. It's five. Well, it's it's... How much is it? I don't know if you guys it's... know, but yes, me and Brayden are roommates. As you can they see. They are. You can see the bunch of <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, but um the the one one bar of iron or this steel of this quality is about five gold pieces. Uh and there are like over a thousand of them on here. Oh I it I, I slip I slip one out without um Wayne's from noticing. A sleight of hand check, then. You oh, sneaky I boy. Like one. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> oh my god, he did. I, I have a plus nine. nine. I have a plus nine, and I still rolled but a still crit rolled one. one. <laughs> you, you very oh obviously... Well, I guess it makes sense, because I've been drinking. <laughs> I've been drinking. Yeah. That's actually you, <laughs> so you, true. You <laughs> obviously reach your hand into the iron, and then the bottle you had fell out of your pocket and shatters on the ground. And no, to Way to go. Way to go. What do you, what do I, you I, have my arm, I have my arm in the box as he turns <laughs> I go, all right, buddy. Wait, what are you, what are you getting at here? And I like, I like quickly remove it and put it back my to my side. side, and I'm like, uh, uh, no, no, nothing. nothing. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Sefer. Sure. Sefer. Sure. I walk over, I push him away, and I grab a bar for myself. 
All right. Uh, if no one stops you, yeah, you take that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stop him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop him. But how, do, how do you stop him? <laughs> um, I, I like, grab his shoulder and pull him back so that he's, like, facing me. Oh, great. We're already going to have a first fight. It's going to be between my own members. <laughs> But what 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 do you do, Brady? You kind of like no, no, don't take. I go hey, There's enough for us to both get. Yeah, but do we want to make money off this off this transfer or no? Maybe maybe not the best idea here. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. check each other on this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. As you're there debating the ethics of stealing from the cargo <laughs> hold, um, it's passive perception. As Brayden and I were in the basement, we uh, fought two little invasive flying dust things, and we lost the footage for that too, but we're going to come back into the end of that, so here you go. As you defeat this little steam man, what would you like to do now that you're alone again in the cargo hold? Um, we should probably report that to <laughs> the merchant. Yeah. All right. Baby boys, what would you like to do in the cargo hold? Oh, you were gonna go up and tell. Yeah, them. yeah. Uh -huh. We go up and tell them about the. Oh, uh... I give you, I give you a fist bump because you fucking nailed that shit. <laughs> How sick <laughs> is that fist bump? Can I, can I, I pull out? A... What? <laughs> God, another. Want to give us a... see if the fist bump Dude, actually hits? Thing. Yeah, give us a, give us a, per, <laughs> give us a performance <laughs> check. Oh, I'm snail. shitty at performance. Both of you do performance checks. We'll see how quality of a fist bump Fif that 15. was. Fifteen. Ooh. 18. Oh, that's a damn good fist bump. You're the boom. Pretty sick. After that, can I pull out like another another little like mini bottle of alcohol and just take like a shot and then... Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I asked him for, for a little. I'm s sorry, no can do. <laughs> After that good fist bump, no man. Can do. Yeah. No can do. There's no yeah. can do. No can do. No you run up the stairs uh, with your mild burn injuries, and um, you yeah you head up the stairs with your little burns, and uh, you 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 do you talk to the uh, to Aldous? I think his name is. Mm -hmm. He's your guy. That's my guy. What do you say to him? Um. <laughs> well, <laughs> we just fought some uh, air creatures down there. What are, I forget what they're called, but. We just, we cooked them down there. Oh, shit. He got... Wait, I don't remember what his voice said. Hmm. Uh, oh, shit. There's some little, 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 little guys down there. Those have oh, been yeah. harassing yeah. my shipments recently. Well, Great. you can count on me for fighting them. Great work, you too. Thank you, I did it all. I don't, uh, don't... <laughs> you God, didn't do anything. Them. We're glad I decided to bring you along. Mm -hmm. As we are now, glad to be along for the ride. Do y'all want to take a little a long rest? Yes. And that is where we're going to stop for this first episode of the uh, Arthmoya Archipelago. Catch us in the next episode where we end up exploring Lesser Letos.